All of us at some time or another have experienced the unpleasant feeling of anxiety. As we are all unique, our bodies have slightly different reactions to anxiety and stress. Whether it's a racing heart, your chest feeling tight, or butterflies in your stomach, everyone's is a little bit different. But how did it develop and where does it come from? Well, when our body sends danger of any sort, part of our brain, called the amygdala, sends signals to the adrenal glands to release adrenaline. This then causes a whole host of other hormones to release around our bodies, causing all manner of changes, which is commonly known as the fight or flight response. But why did this system develop? Well, in order to answer that question, we're going to have to take a time machine back 200,000 years ago to the first human beings in Africa. Early hunter-gatherers, while out hunting, would occasionally come across dangerous animals. In order to stay alive, they learned to either fight these animals or run away. Now, when faced with life or death situations, there's no time to think logically. I doubt in this situation you think, Oh, hello, lion. I wonder if you've eaten today. Or are you just being a bit curious? No. If you did this, you'd likely be dead. So the body has learned to prepare itself for action by sending signals from the brain to release adrenaline. This then diverts blood away from the stomach and the intestines to the major muscle groups such as our arms and our legs. Our heart beats faster and stronger to pump the blood all around the body. Our breathing quickens in order to get more oxygen, the fuel our body needs to work efficiently. Our muscles tense to get ready for action and we start to sweat in order to keep our body cool. And what's really interesting is we become really hyper aware, keeping watch for any other possible threats or dangers. This evolutionary tool has been very useful. It has served to keep humans on this planet for over 200,000 years. Now, because we have very little time to respond to danger, our bodies have become very efficient and made this reaction automatic like an alarm system in our body. Now, as I mentioned, this alarm system, when it goes off, can feel really unpleasant. You may ask yourself, but there are no big animals loose in the UK anymore. Why hasn't it shut itself off or calmed down or something? Well, the thing is, now we don't have much physical danger. The system can be set up by perceived psychological threats. Things like what others think of us or being ridiculed by peers are dangerous to us socially. Worrying about our future and upcoming tests are all perceived threats or worries. They know you not be physical threats anymore, but the fight or flight system still works the same. Over time our system has become more aware of psychological threats and can become very sensitive. And sometimes it can feel like the fight or flight system is just going off all of the time. You're probably thinking, it's so unpleasant, I just want rid of it. Even if this was possible, it probably wouldn't be the best idea. Just imagine that you're the dodo bird on the island of Mauritius. Now, the dodo evolved in isolation from any other significant predators. You could claim it never developed the fight or flight response. So as a result, when human beings discovered Mauritius in the 16th century, the dodo was entirely fearless of humans. This fearlessness, and the dodo's inability to fly, made it easy prey for the sailors and the various new predators such as dogs, cats and rats. Even worse for the dodo was even when one was captured, the others were too curious and came for a look so have further captured and eaten themselves. Luckily for us, we're not built like a dodo. And like the dodo, we haven't become extinct or been eaten, and this is due to us having the fight or flight response. And while it might feel unpleasant at times, it's very essential that we have it. 
If you like this video, check out our other resources at moodcafe.co.uk.